All right, hey guys, it's that for me, and um, today what we're going to be doing is continuing the go-kart build. The electric go-kart conversion is really coming along. I have sourced all the parts, and I've really thought about um, mounting and placement and just what I'm going to do. So, so let me walk you through my plan today, and uh, we'll get started. So what I have here are all the parts that we're going to be using. This is the motor over here. Um, I've already sourced out some nuts and bolts um, so that we can mount this. And for the most part, what I'm going to be doing for the mounting um, is to use this um, kind of modular um, square. It's not called square tube, I guess L-shaped, the uh, angle brackets um, that I have lying around. And basically what I'm going to do is create a cage which will um, allow this to mount onto um, the motor itself. Um, and then at the same time, the controller is going to sit on top of that. So what it's really going to end up looking like is something like... Um, something like this with uh, this part obviously going onto the sprocket on the go-kart so that's the plan I was thinking originally to put it in front of it like that um, but the issue with that is um, I'm worried about the airflow I'm blocking the airflow to the motor so I figured putting it on top of it would be a better idea because there will be airflow through all sides of the controller as well as all sides through the um, through the motor as well the heat rising from the motor should be, um, you know, just blown out with the airflow. Um, so I'm not really worried about the motor heating up the controller. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to start by just um, cutting out some uh, tubing, or I keep saying tubing, but um, basically these brackets. I'm going to keep cutting them until I can create a cage, and I'm going to do some um, some welding today um, in order to put it all together. And finally, um, it'll just go on with a bunch of um, bolts. Alright, so uh, now I've got all the pieces cut out. Um, I know right now it just looks like a bunch of random brackets, but uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of do a mock-up um, and then I'll start welding. Alright now, so I got a little bit of the backbone of this cage done. Um, and I've just tack welded a lot of these parts just to uh, make sure that everything fits. Um, but as you can see, it's on its side, so this is how it's going to be when it's um, on the actual go-kart. Um, I'm going to have to definitely sand down, uh, take off some of the metal here and on this side so that the chain won't hit the, uh, won't hit the actual, uh, what do you call it, the metal. Um, and then I'm just going to have to build the top part of the cage where the controller is going to sit. Uh, and the final thing will be to basically uh, make this uh, out, outer uh, supports for the cage so that the motor is sitting inside of the cage. Um, these four mounting points right here these two and these two are um, hopefully going to be enough to hold up the motor. The motor is actually 22 pounds, so it's not a light motor at all, um, but we'll see how it does. All right, so a little bit more progress made. I've uh, mounted the controller onto the brackets, um, and so far, it seems like everything's going to line up except for this sprocket right here. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get this sprocket off and move it over. If you saw in my earlier videos, um, I had so much trouble getting this sprocket off that I just reverted to uh, moving the sprocket from one side to the other. And um, in this case, I'm really not going to be able to do that. As you can see, there's not much clearance. Um, when the chain comes, it's going to come all the way to here. So this thing is definitely going to have to be moved over that way. Um, other than that, I really like how the controller sits on top. Um, and the motor is going to be sitting right here, mounted onto this side. I have noticed that there's this um, fifth mounting point that I could probably use. Hopefully um, this point right here is structurally stable, um, but either way, it's just going to be um, a little bit extra safety because holding the four um, mounting bolts right here might make this thing want to, you know, uh, the torque might make it go that way. So what I want to do is just add a fifth bar right here up top, which is going to also help me secure this side over here. Um, on the controller and then um, I'll have a mounting point right about here as well. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five mounting points for the controller, I mean for the motor. Hopefully that's enough to um, uh, keep the keep the torque uh, held in place and have everything be nice and secure. 
Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and mock up um, this last bar right up top here. The reason why I don't want to do another bar on the back side on here is um, because I won't be able to actually take out the motor if I if and uh, when I need to. So I definitely want to just have this um, over here and nothing over here so that I can take the motor out. Um, yeah, so that's basically it so far. Let me just finish up uh, this quote unquote cage right here for the motor and the controller. And then I'm gonna have to clean up a lot of edges and probably spray the, spray the whole thing um, red so that it matches the frame of the go-kart. So it turns out yellow is the only paint that I have. Um, so I'm not gonna go out and buy red paint. It'll match fine with the side, uh, the seven right there. Um, so what, what I'm gonna do is uh, get this uh, coat of yellow paint. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this episode short. Um, this sprocket right here is just stuck on to the shaft. And no matter what I do, I can't actually get this to come out. The bolt is stuck and I believe it's a 7 millimeter hex um, that goes into it. However, it keeps slipping. I've even tried heating it up because this is steel and this here is aluminum. And because aluminum expands faster than steel does when you um, give it heat, I was hoping that I'd be able to convince this bolt to come out after I heated it up with a torch, but not lucky at all. So I have to figure out a way to move the sprocket over to this point over here, which I know that it can because um, the key shaft allows it to go all the way across all the way to here if I wanted it to. And then the chain is going to run right through that uh, one inch space right there. So the motor is going to be sitting right there and the controller is going to be sitting right on top. Unfortunately, I can't make use of that fifth um, mounting point, but this thing, this uh, cage right here is really solid. Um, so I have no uh, really worries about the motor, um, like basically pulling it and breaking it at that point down there. Once I uh, figure out how to uh, get this sprocket moved over, I'll be able to continue uh, mounting everything, mounting the motor mounting the um, uh, motor mount onto the um, chassis and then mounting the controller right on top over here and wiring everything up um, but until i figure out how to get this sprocket over this project definitely um, is at a halt so if you guys have any suggestions that i haven't done yet please let me know in the comments below i really need your help with this because i've been looking um, at options and it seems like maybe now i'm gonna have to drill through this um, I've never done that before, so if you guys have any like um, good links as to show to show me how to be able to do that, if I have to, I'd be happy to take a look at it so that I can continue this project. Um, so unfortunately, this episode's gonna have to end early. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, and hopefully in the next episode we'll continue the build. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.